Hi, welcome back to the channel and commuting again. A wee video on my commute, three days a week I work. And today I took Willow's Jeep in as the forecast was very good. Filled up the night before, gave it a quick check over and leaving outside overnight it was soaked in dew and dampness this morning. And you can see here the mist, quite cool. So I was saying the driving can be a wee bit boring but it's not boring in the jeep it's always like a micro adventure just going eight to ten miles even um, and it's uh, it's quite interesting with the, with the really poor lighting that it's got I was finding out why the lights were a bit poorer than I thought they used to be when I pulled up and I found I've got a blown dip right hand side bulb but that's a quick fix so I'll just do that when I get home from work today but yeah, this is about 5.20 in the morning and the sun's just starting to get around the horizon um, behind me to the east. This is looking west to Edinburgh, but behind me, I pulled down anyway to get some photos and some film. And you'll see here, a 360 or the Shire. Oh, way out. So I took some pictures with the phone, as you can see they're a bit brighter, and this photo here is a money shot. So, into work for a 6 o'clock start, and by 9 o'clock, the day was really warming up lovely. So this is up on the top of the golf course, inside the coast here on Archerfield, and it was stunning. Heard the lighthouse, I need to do a wee film on some time as well. So in half an hour, a lot of the boys have got this way with the jobs they were doing. I'm always first round if I'm up out blowing. Can you hear the blower going? So half past two and I'm heading home. guys that I work with have not seen the Jeep before so I put a few extras on it which I, I like a Jeep with actually next to nothing on it but um, I stuck a few items on some camel netting and stick grenades German stick grenades and a gas mask that's a genuine helmet most of my genuine stuff I own my dad gave me um, including the cherry can there 945 and that British Army water bottles, genuine. Reenactment stuff, um, pattern made is the water bottle there and the American grenade. The Mark II 1942 gas mask hanging on the mirror, genuine. As is this latest purchase for 20 quid. I bought this US Army shovel and it's stamped 1945. It's very similar to quite a few shovels I've got, replicas from later on. I've got a German World War II shovel as well. It's a lot heavier but stronger made. But yeah, it's a nice wee latest purchase. 20 quid a month is what I spend on bits and bobs. So just before I headed home, I stopped in for a wee harvest view of North Berwick Law. And they took it in the field here to the southeast of the law quite a photogenic scene this, so I'll shut up and let you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 
Once home, I quickly replace that blowing bulb. Quite a simple job, you just pivot up the light, which allows you to then take off the headlight um, lens, and there's the bulb there you need. So it's just a two minute job to do, but as I discovered, there was actually a broken earth or a loose earth which came away when I removed the holder and lens. So that was probably the fault that blew the bulb. Seems to be an earth problem a lot with these Jeeps, or my Jeep anyway. You see there. So I crimped on a new holder after inserting a new bulb. And um, just stick it back together after this. Just tighten up the earth and um, plug in the bulb. And give it a quick check, see if it works okay. That's us done, and a wee job. It's always something to do in a Jeep, keep telling folk that. But that's us, we're out here, and uh, catch you next time. Bye for now.